Go ahead, open, go ahead and open Clipflor worksheet. Enable editing. This one has a lot of complex formulas, but we'll start off simple with just taking the hours worked times the hourly pay rate. So the formula is equals D4 asterisk multiply E4 and then check. And then I'm not going to fill handle yet. I'm going to fill in the rest of the taxes before and the net pay before we finish. So the next one is G4 and this is a little uh, complicated, the federal tax. It's going to be based on the dependents. So we'll take their gross pay and before we subtract, we'll take the dependents and multiply it by 22.16. And then the federal tax is also an additional 26%. So it's a complicated formula, but here we go. Equals 0 0.26 times and then parentheses F4 minus the dependence in C4 times 22.16 and then close parentheses. So the difference between F4 and, and um, C4 it will be multiplied by 22.16 and then that amount will be multiplied by the 26% and then go ahead. So it's $665, very high taxes. The next one is the state tax, a little bit simpler. So it's equals, and it's 0 0.055, which is 5.5%, times that F4, the gross pay, and then check. Now this one is not a deduction. They just want to know, out of curiosity, between the federal tax and the state tax, these two figures, how much of a percentage is it from their gross pay? So it's under 50%, but still it's a lot. So we'll start with our formula. We want to um, add both the taxes, at federal and state, together. So we're going to do that first. So um, in parentheses, it'll be G4 plus H4 close parentheses, and then divide by the gross pay. So the, t the percentage is, whoops, I didn't put in the close parentheses, so it's going to fix it for me. They consider it a typo. And there it is. We're going to change that to just two decimal places. And the net pay is to take the gross pay and subtract the two taxes. So it's equals F4 minus, and then in parentheses, the sum of G4 plus H4, close parentheses, and enter. I'm just going to have you check my um, tax percentage because I did have a typo in there. It was G4 plus H4, so adding the two taxes, divided by the gross pay, and it is 30%, just a little over 30%. So now we can actually select F through J, let go, and then fill handle. And then we're ready for our totals. And we don't have to do dependents or hourly or weekly um, pay rate. So we'll just start right here in column F. And that's auto sum. Check. Drag it across. And this one will just be a percent. So if you want to just, because it has a dollar sign, just change it to percent and 2%. Don't have to get a total on the dates. All right, so click in B14. And I'm going to show you something first. I, if you can see in column six, it's a little bit, um, it doesn't fit. So I'm just going to double click so it all fits. And the email address is going to be the first, the person's first initial of their first name and then their last name at example.com. And then I'll start the ne next one, Linda Fox at and I think I had to st actually start a third one before it picked up what I was doing. There we go. And then press enter. Now it put in for the, the words highest, lowest, and average. So I'm just going to delete those. But what it's also going to do is still type, I don't want them for total either. Yeah, 
it's still going to, I'm just going to delete it, put them in red. So what I'm going to do is select those cells and choose cell styles normal. All right, so for the highest base on the net pay, it, it's maximum. So the down arrow, max, make sure you select your range. Do not take the total. The lowest, which is the minimum. And again, select your range. Don't take the total. And the last one is the average. And again, from the net pay. So they all should be J4 to J12. There you go. Uh, if you want, to, we went to as far as K, merge and center, change the font. Make it larger. Maybe change the font color and the shading. And then salary report, do the same thing all the way to K. Merge and center, make it a little bit bigger. Maybe change the shading, whatever you'd like to do. The font. If you want to do something with the column headings, maybe just shading, that's fine because it looks like they're already centered. I did the, um, I meant to do the shading, but I did the font, that's okay. And let's see what it looks like to print. File, print. Again, it's in portrait, so if you want, you can change it to landscape now. And then I'll go into page setup. And I already have landscape. I want it both horizontal and vertical center. Header, footer. This time I'm going to do a footer. And the date, my name. And then in the right section, the file name. Okay, okay. Save and submit.